What's up, everybody? We, today we're going to talk about Eddie Hearn creating an atmosphere of duckism by way of the zone. So, I'm pretty sure there's a, a few other scenarios out there that Matchroom has with ducking fighters. But this, this one in particular, I'm going to be talking about Charlo and Deontay Wilder. So, Eddie Hearn has been ducking Deontay Wilder because he refused to give that man a rematch clause. And so, instead of him giving a rematch clause... He's bringing up something that he calls a two-fight deal. And we should all know the context of saying a rematch clause and a two-fight deal is not the same. Are you following me? It is not the same if I ask you a yes or no question, you answer with an elongated sentence. That is not the same as a yes or no. They have two different definitions. So, this is what Eddie Hearn is going to do. This is what he said. He said that the only way that Charlo can fight for a middleweight, middleweight fucking title, championship title, is if he fought on his own. Are you following me? So, that basically means two things. That Canelo will be willing to vacate because he will have to fight Charlo Eventually, if he, you know what I'm saying? If he has to be, he will have to vacate it because he will have to fight Charlo. I guarantee that if it does go to purse bid, that the zone or match room boxing or um, go to boy promotions will win. It is not a guarantee. You know, some people out there would say that, you know, the zone is worth two, uh, 21 point. Five million dollars, or whatever the case may be. Well, 20th Century Fox is worth about 67 billion dollars. Now, if CBS wanted to bid on that, they are worth 25 billion dollars. Now, if ESPN wanted to wanted to get in on that, I believe they're worth around 40 billion dollars. So that right there off the top is three heavy hitters. And guess what? <clears throat> they haven't obligated an amount to anybody <clears throat> like DeZone did Canelo. <clears throat> so they haven't spent any money. They haven't spent $365 million, guaranteed. You see, are you following me? They have more money to spend to the... On, rather than the zone, because look, if the zone bid it on that, if Golden Boy bid it on that, if Matchroom Boxing bid it on that, they would lose. And not only will they lose, they know that they could only go so far in the bid without losing money because they will not get their funds recruited off of that fight. Especially. If you're banking on that fight being placed on the zone in the United States. So, let's do the math. They had a million the zone subscriptions for that fight, right? That's a, uh, they had a million, right? How much is that? That's about 10 million that's about 10 million dollars give or take. Most likely, it will be less than that because it would be the first time somebody bought the app, subscribed to the app, so it would be fucking free. Or they just find a fucking friend to get on the app and then and then suspend it. So it would still be free. So you're looking at $10 million from that, right? But now, if Charlo and Canelo did Showtime, how much money would they get? From pay-per-view. At least, at least, how much would they get? Because Eddie Hearn is saying that, okay, uh, Deontay Wilder versus Tyson Fury would be lucky to do 2,500,000 uh, buys, 2,500, 20, two, I mean, sorry, 250,000 buys. He said they'll be lucky to do that. 250,000 buys is eighteen. 
$18.7 million. That is more, that's $8 million more than what I am estimating that DAZN would get for that fight. Because you don't have to pay each month for DAZN. You just pay for the, for the months that you want to get in and get out. You see what I'm saying? Now, if they having two fights in one month, somebody wanted to watch one fight but didn't want to watch the other, I guess they already paid a subscription for two fights. So how does that equate? Because you can't base your numbers off of one fight if you're having two, three fights in one month. Because you because those two, three fights that you probably have in one month, those they have to be recruited. That three hundred and sixty five million has to be recruited somehow. It can't just be banked off of Canelo fighting off fighting two times a year. Especially when you're creating the atmosphere for duckism. Because who's gonna want to watch Canelo fighting a whole bunch of uh, 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 some UK fighters that nobody know their name. Who's going to keep? Who's going to want to watch that over and 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 over again? Who's going to want to watch that? Not me. I'm already not going to buy the app, so I ain't got to worry about it. But what I'm saying is, is that if you're creating an atmosphere for duckism. What do you expect is going to happen? Because you're telling an American fighter, no, you can't fight on your preferred uh, platform and and uh, try to brand your name with that platform because I want you to fight on DAZN. Because I am embedded with a company that has money. More money than what the PBC has way more money than all the rest of those American broadcasters that you don't even know who they is. You don't even know what they worth. Because you're flapping at the gums. This dude, Eddie Hearns, basically said that he said that it's possible that they can fight on Showtime, the AJ versus Deontay Wilder, but Showtime, but Showtime has to put up the money. I highly doubt they have put up the money. And then in another sentence, he says it has to be on the zone. So what exactly does he mean by that? To me, if you're saying two things, you don't know what you want. You don't know how it's going to turn. But we all know that if the fight was on Fox, ESPN+, Plus, Whatever is still going to bring more money than what the zone is going to bring. Not only that, how, like I said, how was these American fighters supposed to brand their name on their platform? How is they supposed to get signed with a with an American uh, broadcasting network when you when you are uh, hoarding your fighters? Swindle deals to where they can only fight on the zone. You can't have your cake and eat it too, homeboy. Sometimes you have you're gonna at some point. Eddie Hearn is going to be humbled. At some point, he's going to be humbled. Let me tell you something. There was a dude named Richard Branson. He own he owns um, Virgin Group. This dude had something called Virgin American Airlines. United States basically created a new law to where a foreigner, because he's from the UK, a foreigner could not own majority of an airline company. So this dude was forced to give his shares up. So in turn of him show, if, 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 so what basically what happened was him giving his shares up. This, the, the, the board voted his ass out. Quick, fast, in a hurry. And then Virgin American Airlines was merged with Alaskan Airlines. 
And you know what Richard Branson did? He bowed down gracefully because that's the type of person he is. He saw it coming. He knew it was happening. He knew there was nothing he can do. He knew he should never have been doing business with, 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 with motherfuckers like that. He left peacefully. He tried, he tried to do right by people. He, he, he donated a lot of money. He gave a lot of free things out there. He never, as far as I know, he never did anything wrong. And he still got done in. What do you think is going to happen to Eddie Hearn and the zone? You know, because Matchroom Boxing USA, you know, the little LLC they got. And the zone setting up shot up over here. And Eddie Hearn woofing at the mouth. What do you think is eventually is going to happen? They're going to get absorbed. If they don't get it absorbed, they're going to get kicked out. You're going to get told to kick rocks. Because how are you going to make money over here? Basically, you're, take, you're, you're coming all the way over here to the United States. Money out of other people's mouths. That are worth way more money than the zone and worth way more money than matchroom boxing. You are taken away from them. Because you can't say, we can all we can all assume that some of these networks are saying, oh, boxing's dead, boxing this, boxing that, right? But they are in the business of making money. They are in the business of doing studies and analysis to figure and, and doing things to figure out how can they make money off of boxing so why do you think these companies are with the pbc you know century fox and espn why are they, why are they doing business with the pbc they're doing business with the pbc because the pbc has showed them that there is money in boxing but there is more that we there is more that they can do to make it alive once again and and one way that al Heyman showed it was to give free fights and not only that charge the fans less their PBC was already doing this before, way before the, the zone came up over here. We were already on the Showtime app. We were already on these, these other little streaming things. We were already, you know, paying less for fights. He was already, you could tell, look, deals don't happen overnight like this, like he did. There was a level of seeing how it was going to, seeing how his idea was going to play out before anybody got with him. You didn't think that some of these, some of these big cats out there with money didn't think that Showtime was going to flunk like four years ago. But it doesn't, it doesn't mean anything to you because it has nothing to do with your, with, what your narrative is, is with Matchroom Boxing, Eddie Hearn, and zone. You know, all I got to say is that in order for the zone to, to flourish in the United States, they're going to have to humble themselves and they're going to have to, you know, do what needs to be done to give the, the, the fans the fights that they want. And they cannot give the fans what they want because of the zone and Eddie Hearn. Because Eddie Hearn wants to put a foothold on United States bo boxing. He wants to make it to where all these fighters out here have to fight on the zone if they want to fight the zone fighters or matchroom boxing fighters. But this is what's going to happen. Eventually, Canelo will lose his belts. Eventually, AJ will lose his belts. Eventually, Dillian White will get knocked out. And then what? And you will be looking around, trying to see how you can scramble up the next big boxer. And, and, in, and in between time, your numbers will, pump, will plumble, will, will, will fall. And the reason why your numbers will fall is because
because you didn't want to give the fans what they want. You didn't want the best to fight the best. You wanted the best to fight your best under your terms. Shout outs to the LDBC and everybody stay sucker free.